What is up people and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to decouple our application's config files from our application and then deploy that configuration to Kubernetes and how do we manage configuration for our application in Kubernetes. So we're going to be specifically taking a look at the config map object and how do we use it. So without further ado, let's go. So basically a config map object is an object in Kubernetes that holds the configurations of our application. And the configs can be a Python file that reads variables, it can be an app settings file in .NET, it can be a JSON file or, or any kind of config file for your application. One mistake I often see people make is they, they build applications that are not portable. They basically bake their configuration into the application, which doesn't allow you to make your application portable so that it can run anywhere. So I wanna show you an example application that I had written in Golang. And what I tend to do is I tend to separate my config. So I have a config folder with my config file, and then I have a source folder with my source code. So I separate config and source. Now this is great because when a new developer joins the team, all they need to do is look at the source code and they can see that it is expecting configuration files because we've separated it. We've kept things simple. And now when we run a Docker container, we can simply say Docker run and we can mount the config into the application. So if we take a look at the code, what I've done is I created this method called read config. And inside here, all we do is simply read our config JSON file in a folder called configs. And then when the application starts up, I call the read config method. This is a very simple example. And then when I say Docker run, I can then mount the config folder into the container and then run that. And when that application starts up, we can see it starts, it reads the config and it has loaded the config. So a very simple example. So in a previous video, we spoke about deployments and pods and desired state, and we actually deployed our application to Kubernetes running two pods with V1 of our application. So be sure to check out that video. Now in the Kubernetes world, when it comes to configuration, um, we have to define a config map as part of our desired state and then we update our deployment to refer to that config map and what kubernetes will then go and do is it will create this config map object and it will mount the config directly into our pods so application can then see those files on the file system and refer to them like any other application now let's take a look at the YAML file for the desired state of a config map. You can see a config map is very simple. It just has a name and then it has the data. So you can pass environment variables in here and, and use environment variables inside of the pod, or you can just have the config. In our case, we have config.json um, embedded here. Now you can either describe it as a YAML file like this, and then what you can do is say kubectl apply and then point to the YAML file. So we say Kubernetes, because I have a folder structure called Kubernetes and I have config maps and then I have config map.yaml. That is this YAML file that I have here. So if I go ahead and apply this, Kubernetes will go and create that config map for me. Now I can either have it as a YAML file like this. The other way to do it is to run a command called kubectl create config map and then the name of the config map and then i can say directly from file so i can point to the config.json and kubernetes will go and create a config map object similar to this yaml um, file that i showed you here and once we have done this we can use the kubectl get command to retrieve the config map and what we can also do is we can say get config maps we can pass the name of the config map and we can output it as yaml so that allows us to now go and troubleshoot and view the config to make sure it is what we applied now in order for our deployment and our pods to start using our config map we have to go ahead and alter the pod spec so we go to our deployment yaml file and we scroll down and we see that I created a volume mount entry. The first thing we do is we specify a volumes section. The volume section here has a name of the volume and it also, like you can call it anything, it also has a reference to the config map. So as a developer, all I need to do is refer to the config map that we created called example config. And then I create a volume mount saying that I want to mount the volume into this mount path at slash configs. 
Kubernetes will then go and find that config map that we created and mount it into the, the pods on this folder path. So in order to make this happen, I say kubectl apply and I apply my deployment YAML file and Kube, um, Kubernetes will go and create that deployment. So if we say kubectl get deploy, um, we can see our application is starting up. We can then also do kubectl get pods and we can see both of our applications are now running. And in order to see whether our config is loaded, I can say kubectl logs and get the log of the pod. And we can see the application started, it read the config and the config is loaded. And that is it for config maps. Hope that helped you guys learn something new about how to decouple your configuration from your application and deploy that into Kubernetes. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at secret management. So how to manage secrets in a secure manner um, in Kubernetes and Docker environment. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, peace.